Hey guys, Jen Obvious here with a Unity tutorial. This one I'm going to show you how to toggle an object on and off in your VR chat world. So this is my bedroom in VR chat. I'm just using it as an example. And I've got a frog over here. And I've got a toggle button. And I just made the toggle button just a 3D cube with a collider. Okay, so we're going to use this button here to, to turn on and off this frog. And you can do it with any object. I can do it with the lamp, any, anything. We're just going to use this frog right now. Alright, so click on your toggle button for your frog. And then we're going to add a Udon behavior. So we're going to add component Udon behavior. Alright, right here and the new program we're going to click on new program open udon graft okay so we want the frog to go on and off so we're going to find the frog in our hierarchy and that's right here <clears throat> we're going to left click and drag it into our graft okay so this is the object the parent See, there's children in here too, so make sure you get the parent. Drag it in here, and then we're going to need an event interact. No event interact. Uh, left click to deselect that, so then you can right click and choose another one. We're going to need a game object. And set active. Okay. And we're also going to need a boolean. Unary negotiation. And we're going to need another game object. And this time get active self. All right, so we got all three of those. Now this is our frog we want turned on and off. This is our event we want to happen. So we're going to go ahead and click the noodles. Set up these like that. It's trying to find the state of the objects. And then connect that noodle to that. And I always hit compile on hand, but that should be it. Now, it's, what it's going to do is on the toggle here, down here, make sure in the public variables that the frog or whatever object you want turned on and off is down in here. So you can take and you can click and drag and put it right into there. Okay? Make sure that is where it's not going to work. Uh, on your text, you can go ahead and change it. Um, uh, turn off and on frog, or whatever you want to say. All right, so I think that is it, and we'll go ahead and play it in our editor and see if it works. Now, right now, the state of the frog is on. So when I hit that toggle button. It should disappear. And it did. It disappeared. Turn it back on and off. Great. Now I'm I'm not using Creator Companion. I'm using the old Unity Hub for this for this project here. Um, okay, so let's take it a step further. Let's go ahead and when this frog turns off, or no, when this frog turns on, we want that lamp to go off. So let's go back to our Udon graph. Alright, move that over there. Let's go back to our scene for a minute. So this lamp is lamp one in our hierarchy. Alright, in our room model. Okay. 
do, do, do. So we need that lamp. Lamp one. We're going to click and we're going to drag him right there. We want that to change state. All right, so we're going to need a, another game object. Set active. And we'll need another Boolean. And game object get active self all right so we want this to change state so this has got to carry through because it's going to happen to to both of these objects that's going to connect to that that's going to connect to that and then connect our other noodles. And that should work. Now, let's go ahead and we're going to turn this frog off. Okay? So make sure it's the parent. We're going to, right up here, we're going to turn him off. So when we go into the editor and click this toggle, this frog should come on and this lamp should disappear. All right, let's do it. Okay, over here to our toggle button. And the frog came on and the lamp disappeared. And that is how you toggle on and off objects. Got to use the Udon behavior on your toggle button. Now, if you don't want to see this red button here, if you want like a secret button, just go up to Mesh Render, uncheck it, and that's it. Now you've got a secret button that you can click. And we'll go ahead and play it for you. There it is. Pretty cool. Alright, and that is how you turn off and on objects in Unity. See you on the next video, guys.